Hi, I'm Carrie Schaefer. And I'm Sarah Sadie. And we are here today to talk to you a little bit because we are super excited about a co-offering that we have coming up in September. What week is that, Sarah? It's September. Um, it starts the 12th of September, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. On, on Wednesday evenings, and it's all going to also be recorded. So if you can't make class, you can catch us later. Um, this is going to be a class for those of you who maybe know you need to be doing some marketing and some branding, but you just cringe and shrivel at those little words. And we're really excited about this. We have more information about that that you can see on our website and the link that we're posting. But right now, we want to explain to you why we start everything we do in the Dreamweavers Attic. And I'm going to let Sarah talk to you a little bit about that. I'm going to talk about it because I was just talking with Carrie and I found I just had so much to say and she said, why don't you talk about that, Sarah? Yeah. I said, okay, I will. So, um, so I wanna say, you know, we've all at this point signed up for online classes and webinars and information sessions and live calls and all kinds of online offerings because we live in 2018 and this is what's out there and it's wonderful that there's such a richness to explore. One thing that's a little different about the way Carrie and I do things is that we start every session right here, like this is the space, this is what it will look like, is our, <laughs> our faces here with the faces of your, of your course mates. Um, but we start every session with a guided relaxation. And, we, and as we do this guided relaxation, we bring people up into a space we call the Dreamweaver's Attic. Mm -hmm. So although we're in this online space, we're also in this sort of virtual, um, imagined space that we that we bring people up into through a guided relaxation and visualization every time we meet and why does why is, does this matter why do we put the time the class time into doing this well i think there's a couple of reasons um and the first one i want to say is because just like you um, when I take online webinars and classes, I tend to have it up in the corner and then I'm checking my email or I'm on Facebook or they're talking about it. I'm kind of doing, we all multitask. We all are distracted five different ways from Sunday every time we come on the screen. And so um, to, to do this guided relaxation together is a way of framing the time, setting aside our daily lives, saying here we are gathered in this space for this purpose. We've all committed to being here. Let's really honor that and come into presence together. And I think that's just so, um, it's so special. It's so important to me to do that. It's a way of setting space and honoring the people in the program with us. Right. So, I, I just, I always find, I often come to these classes directly from the day job that, that I'm working. And the, it, it helps me very much, I know, to make that shift from all the stuff that's in my head and all the annoyances and anxiety and frustrations of the day to I'm here now in this space, open to whatever it is that we're going to do and create together which is amazing and sometimes yep. really kind of magical. Absolutely. And I, I think we've done that for each of us. Like sometimes I'll say, Carrie, do you want me to take it tonight? You look a little frazzled or Carrie will just say the same, same thing to me. Sarah, I know you've had a day. Let me do it. I'm like, thank you. Cause I could really use it. And the, the only other thing I wanted to add is that I think that by bringing people into this sort of imagined space, which as Carrie says, is a little bit magical we are also really emphasizing possibility. Yeah. We're emphasizing open-ended, non-linear uh, spaces where we're focused on where are we right now, but where also might we go? Right. And by ushering people into a space like that, we just open it up a little bit past the linear, bullet-pointed, um, very goal-directed um, focus that a lot of online classes have. So it's a little bit different in scope that way too. And I think that's just an important point to put out there for people. There's a reason behind what we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And Carrie, is there anything you want to add to that? Um, I don't think so. Other than I, I really like what you said about the open-ended, non-linear um, creating space. So it's kind of opening doors for things that we may not even expect. Although we have a plan in the class, sometimes we learn things as the teachers that we didn't know were coming, which is also really awesome. So 
we uh, okay. we will hope to maybe see you guys show up for the classes and we'll have more offerings in the future. Have a great day. Absolutely.